and welcome to today's lesson today I'm going to show you how we use email welcome now the first thing we have to do is open a browser so I'm gonna open the Chrome browser so if you do not have an email I will show you how to create an email okay so let's go to google and search for gmail gmail it comes there we click on gmail then we can see we are on the google search engine we can see about create a, your google account gmail gmail so let's create a google account we click on create account so once we click on create account this is what we can see on our screen okay you can see here google create your google account first name last name username then there's password and confirm password so the first thing you have to do is write your name okay the first name here okay i will write <coughs> my name here so i'll write florence the last name I will write here, I will write Wamoyo. Okay, I have my two names, my first name and my second name. Next here we have to create a username. A username is the name that will appear on your email accounts. Okay, it will be, be the name which appears on your email. Okay, it will be your email address. Okay. So let's type a username here. So you're told you can use letters, numbers, and periods, okay? So we've been given here, the, we are given an example of our email. So Google is writing for me, available, Wamoyo F12, Wamoyo Florence 321, okay? So let me choose this one, Wamoyo Florence 321. And I'll use it, let's close here. I'll use it as my username. Next will be password. Okay. A password should contain eight or more characters and mix it with letters and numbers or symbols. Okay. So let me type my password here. So I can just show you since it's just for demonstration how to create my password. So I will use part of my name I will use part of my name then I will use a symbol so I will put I will use shift the shift on the keyboard and put a symbol I'll put a dollar symbol okay then I'll write 1000 okay so I've created a password with my name dollar sign and a hundred so this usually should be a password something that you can remember all the time and something which somebody cannot guess another person cannot guess it okay so i'm showing you for purposes of training okay so here next i will confirm okay i'll repeat the same password okay so i'll put my symbol there then i'll put a hundred there so my password will be wamoyo dollar 100 okay so i'll have to if you can't remember a password please write it down somewhere where somebody else cannot see it okay so let's click on next okay <clears throat> it says florence welcome to google this is my new email address so google will ask me for a phone number so let's read here google will use this number only for account security your number won't be visible to other users you can choose later whether to use it for other purposes okay so it will be optional to put a phone number for now okay so the next thing we are being told here recovery email address okay so this means that maybe I have another email address, which if I lose this 
email address i don't remember the password they can send to me a password to recover my account through a option another email address okay so let me put my other email address here so if you don't have another email address you can just leave it like that so i'll put my other email address okay at So I'll use at gmail. So it'll be at yahoo. I have a yahoo.com. So I've put my recovery email address. So next thing I have to do is put my birth date. Okay. So here there is month. I'll click on month. I'll put it to October. I have the day. I'll put it on 15. Then I have the year, I'll put 1982. So I have my year of birth there. Then next we can come here and write gender. So you can see the options here, female, male, rather not say, or custom. So I'll write female. So I will click on next. There we go. These are Google privacy privacy and terms okay to create a google account you need to agree to the terms and of service below so you read through these terms of service and click on i agree okay this is for demonstration purposes i agree so that you have an account with google okay ah uh, voila you can see here welcome florence I have my email account. This is the welcome page. There's other options for privacy, privacy and personalization, account storage. Your account is protected. Take the privacy checkup. Okay. We can do this all later. But first things first, now we have our email. So there's this tab here. You have to see here home, personal info security people and sharing payments and subscriptions okay this is our home page then we have this dotted area here you can see it's saying google apps okay so we click on them then there's here the initial f showing me my account is open okay it gives me my email address there so let me go to mail so i'll click here on gmail you can see google gives you account you can search maps youtube account it can give you play store gmail google meets it has many apps which you can now use with google for free so i'll click on gmail is loading Go my google workspace now this is now my email account okay it is open so you can see here it is written primary social and promotions you can see other this cross here which says compose okay inbox tired messages news sent messages drafts there's more new meeting join a meeting you can make video calls using gmail okay so here this is my inbox you can see i have a message from google it's saying google community florence finish setting up your google account okay so i will click on it so i'm being greeted here hi florence welcome to google your new account comes with access to google products apps and services okay so i'll say yes keep me updated okay you can learn more alone so let's just send an email okay so here where it is written compose i will click on compose then this is where i'll write my email you can see here new message you can see two subject there's cc there's bcc cc means copied you can add recipients if you want 
your letter to be received by more than one recipient and there is bcc meaning blind carbon copy okay so let's here right you can see below here we have send we have formatting options you can see here this says attach files we have re insert link we have insert emoji we can insert using this to save on our drive <clears throat> here there is insert photo in our email so here where we have two is where we place our email address okay if you want to send an email to someone they have to give you their email address so let's type an email address here i will send an email to my other email okay email address so i'll write to florence to gashir florence at gmail dot com okay so make sure you have the correct spelling of the email accounts here we have subject we have to write the subject on all emails so that the person who's receiving the email cannot open an email where you don't know the subject of the email so i'll write greetings okay sorry for this let's say greetings then i'll come here below and write my email here so here i'll write hello florence i hope you have received my email regarding computer lessons lessons on opening an email account so i finished with my message i write here thank you thank you now what's remaining is sending my email so i'll click here on send here you can see it's showing me message sent okay so i can go to send here on my email and click on send and i can see that i have sent an email i can see my sent e emails okay so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have any more questions, you can communicate to me through my email account, which is florence, florence at gmail.com. So what next we have to do is sign out. Always sign out on your email once you finish sending the email, okay? For your security of your account. So I'll click on this F here. And it gives me this menu here and I'll say sign out I hope you enjoyed the lesson bye bye address